So now what we are going to discuss is so uh, as this was our first class after the introduction to SAP HANA um, what we are going to do is we are going to load one flat file to HANA database okay we are going to perform a flat file load means from data from a CSV file into HANA database table okay so to do uh, to do so uh, by performing this what will happen the output of this activity is at the end you will have one table created in HANA database and that is filled with our data in the flat file okay so this is the first uh, step what we are going to learn okay simple step where you can understand uh, you know more about uh, how to work on the system but before this you need some knowledge on the data types okay um, that is also important um, but uh, instead of going in depth of it first of all let's do this one um, as you are already a technical consultant uh, you know so you know little bit small some something about data types i hope uh, it won't be too complex to understand okay then we go in depth of each data type how it works and everything okay so I'm go first of all uh, to perform this activity what I need I need one CSV file now I am going to create a new CSV file with some data set okay so I opened one new excel sheet here I am giving I am creating some data so first of all before creating data I need some column headings so that I get to know what is uh, I need to define what is my data and what columns I required in my data okay so for easy understanding I am taking some sales information here okay for example document number or bill number okay and then created on so on which date this particular document was created and for which customer we created this bill okay and for what was the material he is purchasing and what quantity he is purchasing and quantity respect to unit so these are the columns which i am going to um, provide in my data so my document number say example 1001 and created on so in b double in sap the always date format must be in y by y by mm dd format okay so to so in the same way now i am going to provide one date here okay 2022 01 01 and then customer number so i am taking customer as c1 simple uh, to make it simple material as m1 quantity as 100 units as pieces okay and uh, 1002 is the second bill number and uh, it was on uh, 2022 01 01 same date for same customer but this time material m2 with 150 pieces and uh, there is one more material uh, one more bill number 2022 uh, 0102 second date customer c2 m1 material with 200 pieces so i want uh, one more record last record in this data set 2022 0 102 C3 M1 500 pieces. Okay, let's uh, keep our data set minimal. So I am having around four records are there in my data set, and this is the this is the data. Now I am going to save this data, save as save as my data in a CSV file format. That is important. Okay, in the save as type, go here and select CSV comma delimited file and keep here the sales underscore three underscore twenty twenty two zero for today's data i am giving here okay i am saving here so now i have my csv file ready in my system okay now i am going to upload this csv file into the hana database so how I can now if you see this particular file that data it is in my system my local system okay my computer or my local system 
Now I am bringing data from my local system into HANA database. Okay. So because table will be created on HANA database. So data also I am uploading to HANA database. Okay. So how I can upload data from my local system into HANA database. So go to file. Import. Here you have an option called data from local file. Under SAP HANA content, you see one option called data from local file. Select this one, go to next and select your database. So what is this? In, gen in real time, you may have multiple systems here like a development system, quality system, production system. So on which system you are going to upload the, your data is important. So since I have only one system here, I am selecting this one and based upon the environment where you want to upload, you need to select your environment here, uh, for database here. Okay. And click on next here. So this is the important one. Import data from local file. So here you need to provide your uh, inputs. So first of all, it is asking to provide the source file information. So browse here, go to the, my documents and then I am giving my file information here selecting my say file so that you know I got the path of my file and here it is my file is comma delimited so this is fine header row exists yeah I have in my file there is one row of header so this particular line is a header it's not a data so I am mentioning that information as a header row exists in my data and number of rows header includes is one my first row is header row okay and here import all data or if, if for example if you want to partially upload data from 2 to 3 record you can do it or else if you don't specify anything it will try to upload data from starting to ending until you see some blank lines here okay so don't need to check anything here leave it like this since we want to upload all data okay now next so new schema, you see target table, new schema. So here at the end, what we are going to do, we are going to upload our file into a HANA database table. But do we have table already created in the database? No. So first time we are uploading, we don't have table created. So what in this screen, what we are telling is create a table. So new means if we are saying create a table. But if we have already a table available, then we go for second option existing. Here we will select the you know, destination table. In our case, I am taking new. And it is asking schema. Yesterday I told you, right, uh, we are logging with HANA user. So there will be a schema with HANA user, which is our schema where we have full authorization. So I am selecting HANA user schema here. Okay. And we need to provide a table name. So which table name I am going to give? Yeah, okay. A underscore. Okay. A underscore um, sales. Okay. So this is the table name which I am going to provide now. Okay. And then click on next. So you see after clicking on next what happened? So since I mentioned in my previous screen header row exists. From the header row, it is taking the information of header. You see, all these are the header row information. So I have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns are there. And for 6 columns in my target, this is source, my file information. And target, the table which I am going to create. So in the table, it is creating 6 columns. Okay. In the 6 columns, when we create any table, important is to define the data type for each column. Okay, so in the database, if you are creating a table, you need to mention the data type of each table. Okay, so each is for each column. So for document number, SAP is proposing a document data type as a small int. Why? Because in our, uh, you know, in our file, in the document number column, we are trying to load a number field. Since everything is a number, system considering this as a number field. But uh, this is not a number field. So a numeric field means uh, int means it's a numeric kind of data where we perform op arithmetic operations, addition, summation and all. But anytime do we perform anything arithmetic operations on document number? No, right? So for that reason, even though it is a numerical number, we must consider this number as a string, okay, not as a integer. So for that reason, I need to update my data type from small int into uh, here let's say varchar 
so what is wear care i will tell you no but uh, you, by seeing this care let uh, you must uh, feel like it's a string type okay and whenever you are mentioning wear care you must specify the length also okay so by default uh, as per sap standards i am taking document number of length 10 okay and created on so created on means here in our scenario created on means date field to we know because we created this file we know this is a date field but this is also having only numeric numbers here system considering this also as an integer so we need we must correct the data type to date it is a date type when you say date you no need to specify any length system knows uh, always give the date as eight characters okay and customer so customer you see in our file the customer is a alphanumeric c1 so one is a alpha number and uh, sorry characteristic uh, alphabet and other one is a number since it is alphanumeric so system directly proposing it is of type n where care length 2 uh, but i am taking 18 as per say um, uh, sorry 10 customer means as per sap standards customer may have length 10 so i am giving 10 here and material also alphanumeric i am giving number 18 length is 18 so quantity so quantity may be in decimal format right so that's why i'm going to decimal whenever you mention any data type as decimal you should you must mention the length and precision okay 17 and comma 3 so in our bw also we know that uh, you know uh, quantity kpi is having some decimal number 173 okay and the unit in as per our bw standards unit contains max length 3 okay and currency is 5 so i am giving 3 here so now i defined my data types of my each column then the next important thing is defining the key table key okay why we are defining a table key we will we must we must define a table key because to uh, not to load duplicate records into our data into our table so here in our data set the table key is nothing but 1001 what is a key a key differentiates the data record in record to record so when compared to first record to second record the difference is a document number okay uh, these are all the transactional fields but uh, each for, for example if you go to any shop each customer will receive a bill for her purchase so bill in bill contains a unique bill number or document number okay so that's why it is always document number acts as a unique key identifier so i'm making document number as a key here so i am done um, i am done here by mapping and then defining key then click on next so now what it is saying so this is the data that it is going to load into your data into your table click on finish when you click on finish you see on the job log you see importing flat file led status submitted and status completed successfully it means a system saying we successfully created the table okay uh, now go to your catalog go to your schema okay under your schema under table section you can see your table you see a underscore sales table was created now right click on it open content you see now table was created with the technical names you provided and the description and if you see here the important point observation is very very important in learning okay if you see here the technical names wherever i given tech, you know capital letters you taken capital letters wherever i given small alpha numeric uh, sorry mixed day combination uh, alpha alphabets with the small and capital letters system considering the technical name of the field also in the same way it means whatever you are providing as a heading it is taking concern in a, in general in our bw system and all technical name always capital letters but here what we observe is it is a small letters combination also coming on the technical name side okay this is content if you want to see definition open right click on your table go to open definition where you can see the column information data type you defined length and uh, you know uh, system level data store data type okay key information so how, what is this this is table definition how you define the table in the database and this is the content how what is the data you have in the table okay 
so i hope it is clear so far so just let's say break so here we learned about how to upload data from a flat file into a um, you know hana database table okay so in next what we are going to learn is how to upload or uh, you know how to upload delta information into the table here what happened is you created table and loaded the data from excel to here but now what we are going to learn is how to upload a data into excel uh, into table uh, append so in the append format it means extra records you are going to insert into your table uh, by using another csv file that we are going to learn now okay 